What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? Hey guys, look at my crazy hair. I like found these at Dream Deals. It was like a pack of four. And they're like headbands. I still have the ones that um Aunt T made for me, the crochet ones. And I keep forgetting because I stuck them down in a one of Journey's drawers. And I always forget that I have them. I need to dig them out and put them where I can see them. So I had one the green one that actually matched the shirt down here and I used it while I was working but I took it off before I went to bed one day I don't know what happened to it I don't know if maybe one of the cats took off with it because she made the cats yarn cat toys and so there's like multiple of those laying around that they play with so I don't know if maybe they might you know Winnie might have saw it and thought it was one of her cat toys and took off with it because she does that and it's the cutest darn thing ever because she because she gets these toys and she carries them around the house in her mouth like all over the place but what do you want why are you so lovely huh why last night I go to bed boo <coughs> excuse me Boo is like, she weighs over 15 pounds. She's probably like 16 pounds, I think, is what we uh, uh, weighed her in the bathroom scale. You know, could be off. But anyway, so she's like, let's say 15 pounds, a good 15 pounds. But um, she tries to get on you, and oh my gosh, you're going to die. It's like 15 heavy pounds. You're not coming up in my lap. And so she's on top of you. And then she jumped on Journey. And I thought she was going to kill Journey. Because Journey's like, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So I had my arm out to hold, you know, kind of like pushing her away. And then she lay down. And then when I was falling asleep, like her paw was inside of my hand. <laughs> and I'm like, like Journey's like laying here, laying on the bed, you know. My arm's across Journey holding Boo's paw. And I'm like, it's not a crazy. Come here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my goodness. Can we just take a moment to look at all of this? All of this. <laughs> oh. I think she's like eight, eight years old or nine years old. How old are you, boo? Oh my gosh. Hmm? One, eight, one. I think, I think we got her in 2013. I think so. So I think she, ouch! <laughs> she stuck her nails into my knee. <laughs> go anyway so I have about eight orders I have to finish up I actually have to finish a ribbon trim set which really sucks I worked as much and as hard as I could yesterday I got 14 orders done um, and so now I have eight more that I have to ship out by tomorrow I have seven that I have to ship out on Monday but they're not going to they're gonna be held off until Tuesday and that's just the way it is um, you know machines go down things happen there's actually I'm waiting for a shirt for one of them and I think it's supposed to be in tomorrow so and we'll be gone but this came in the mail um, this is just the rainbow there's two of them here I actually thought I was completely out which that never happens and then I found my roll it was stuck over here so I got that and look 
lo and behold, look what came in the mail today. The ribbon I need. So I'm going to finish up these ribbon trims that need the yellow. There's three of them. No, two of them. And then I actually have to make another one. So this is the one that needs to go out because um, I need it sooner than the ship date. So I'm going to make that and then work on orders and try to get these eight shirts embroidered out. And yeah. Hey guys, so um, I'm working on ribbon trims right now. I'm doing my yellow. And I've got one embroidering out, but it just stopped. I think the thread broke, so I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. But I just wanted to tell you that in the past two days, I canceled two orders so far. Maybe a third one now, but I, it feels good. Not that it feels good, but it feels, it's almost, it's relieving because I think before in my mind, I was always, like I would always put myself in the position where I would want to help you know what I mean like oh yeah you need your order like in a week and you didn't pay the rush fee but I'm gonna try to help you out even though you know what I mean not that you know I owe them anything but I think that's just the my like I've tried to please people so I I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna put that stress on my shoulders anymore I'm not gonna do it I just had one person contact me that ordered yesterday on the 7th and they said is there any way you can send this out sooner so I can receive it on the 15th no I can't I can't do it I'm, I'm gonna be gone for the whole weekend and then I still have 50 48 orders still on my list that I'm coming home to so like their ship date I think is the 20 something so I'm sorry I can't I mean even though let's see news hold on let me look because I just looked at it um, there it is 21st their ship date is the 21st which is what the on Wednesday the 21st and they wanted it shipped so they could receive it by the 15th which is a week from today and they ordered yesterday so less they need it within eight days so I'd have to even ship it out if they wanted to receive it by the 15th I'd have to ship it out by tomorrow, actually, if it's going first class mail, because it's free shipping, and they didn't upgrade to shipping or anything. But regardless, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not. So I just told them, you know, hey, I'm leaving on vacation tomorrow. Um, that's why my turnaround time is as it is, and if you would like to cancel, just let me know, and I can cancel that for you. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it no more. I just can't. Like this, the past two weeks has been so stressful beyond belief. Um, first with one machine going down and so I was working off this machine. So it's like I'm at the position now where I have to have two machines going because if I don't, I'm down here all day, every day, even though I normally am. Anyway, but I'm trying to make some changes where I'm not because, you know, I'd rather be outside I'd rather there's seeds I need to be planting right now I wanted to make some rows I'm gonna do some gardening but it's not gonna be like a big chunk garden I want to make just rows where I'm gonna plant like a row of cucumbers in a row you know what I mean I'm gonna dig the ground out like the and I'm gonna put soil in it and so that way it you know, anyway I have plans. I have plans in my brain of things that I want to do that doesn't involve this room. So, yeah. Um, I just want to share that with you because uh, after I did that, I was like, you know, it's like almost like a relief. Like, ugh, you're not going to put that on me. You know what? I mean? I'm not doing that no more. If you did not order in enough time to where you have, you know what I mean? It's, I'm sorry. Um, 
as far as rush orders go, I'm pretty much going to get rid of, I might just get rid of rush orders altogether. Rush orders is a great way to make money. It is a great way to make extra money, but if you already have enough orders coming in, adding rush orders in on top of that and it just it it becomes very stressful and then you got them people that will contact you constantly over and over did you ship it out yet did you ship it out yet? did you i'm like this is this is my turnaround time it will ship out i give you a direct date right when you order it should be on your receipt i email like on my receipt my email when they uh, purchase the item it says Please allow two weeks for your item to be made on everything. So, I know a lot of people don't read that. Anyway, I'm going to keep on going. I'm in love with this. And it's so cute. They wanted it. Um, I have a one with a bunny that is blue because the person that had ordered it. Um, wanted a blue bunny and then wanted the number in blue and turquoise as well and so like and then the name in blue which I thought well I saw a whole lot of blue when I made it but if this person had requested the number be in the pastel rainbow and the bunny be pink and so I just made the bunny um, like I did the blue bunny. The blue bunny was turquoise. And then I, his outline was turquoise. And then I did his accents in a darker turquoise. So it would all you know, stand out and stuff. Anyway, they didn't specifically say they wanted the name in rainbow. Although it is going with a rainbow ribbon trim in pastel colors. So I thought it looked good. Hopefully they like it. Won't complain. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> But the girls went to Uncle Brian's house. He is paying Sterling to vacuum his garage. He has a workout room in his garage. Um, I think I've, I've taken you there before, but it's been probably years now. So if you see a video on it, it's probably years ago. But I'm going to continue working. It is 5.05. Hey guys, so work's done. It is 12 something, 12 16. I'm still packaging up orders. I messed up. My battery's about to die, but I messed up on one. M A M A L I A. M A I L A. So, that order is not going to go out. Even though I printed off the shipping label, it's just going to have to go out on Monday or something because. I am done. I am. There's so much stuff I wanted to do but couldn't get done because I had to finish all this work. But you know what? It's going to be alright. We're leaving in the morning. We're going to have so much fun. I just need. I need it. I need it. And I'm so excited. So I'm going to finish up packaging up orders. Put them outside on my porch for pickup tomorrow. And yeah. So I will see you all tomorrow. We're going to have fun. Bye, guys.